was Tom Dog, and today with Max, I really want to focus on the stay within the sit. So one of the things that Max is doing is he's, as soon as he's getting a treat, the butt is popping up. And I want to teach him that when we say sit, there's an inherent stay there. So what I do is I ask him to sit, Max sit, yes. Uh, so see how he's immediately, while the treat is on the way, he's already getting up. So what I'm going to do, Max sit, yes. There we go, yes. Stay. Yes. Yes. Stay. Right. And tap on the head release. So, the concept here is I want him to learn that he doesn't need to go anywhere. I don't want him to move. If he just keeps his butt on the ground, he's going to continue to get fed. Which is a departure because most dogs are just like, I got my treat. I'm ready to take off, like we're, our interaction is finished, they're not expecting multiple trees. And this is kind of messing with them a little bit. Max hip? Yes. Yes, stay. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, stay. Yes. Better. Yes. Yes. Ooh, that's my call. Max hip? Yes. There we go. Good. Stay. Yes. 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 This is also important. Uh -huh. That's not what I want, Max. I want you to think about it. What you do right now. It's not. That's definitely not it. You run out of gas? Come on, boy. Max, sit. Yes. Stay. Yes. So by working this consistently, we can help them understand that there's so much more for my interaction. There could be more than one tree. Just continue to focus on me and you'll get a bunch. No? Yes. Stay. And then what I'm doing is I'm also not immediately treating him after he gets up. I, 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 I want him, there we go, stay. Yes, that's better, release. There was a little bit of recognition when I said on, I put him back into the sit, he put, went back into the sit. That's really good. I really want to develop this, this understanding from him that there's an expectation when I say stay and I make this noise, he, he needs to think about what just happened. And this is also really important for the down because whenever we're teaching down, this is how we standardly teach it. I take a piece of food while he's in the seated position and I go straight to the ground. And what I need to do is I need to make sure his butt is on the ground when I do that so that I can draw him to the ground. So by working on this sit stay, we can also help with the down stay. And it may come to the point where we're not gonna be able to use that particular technique, we'll have to use something different. But um, if anything, I want him to understand there's multiple treats coming from me, there's a rewarding interaction from me, and that the big hand signal like this means stay, don't move. Right, Max? Right, Max? Right, Max? Uh-huh. I'm a little fluffy guy. I'm a little fluffy guy. Oh my god, it's true. What happened? Max, oh, what? Oh, what was that, man? I know that was so crazy. How'd you end up over there? Oh, what? What is this game? What is this game? Huh? 